Welcome back to the channel. My name is Usman. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Atoro Fuente Don Carlos 80th Personal Reserve Cigar. This cigar is five and a quarter inches long with a ring gauge of 50, so slightly longer than a Robusto, but you could still classify this as a Robusto sized cigar. Now, the blend of this cigar has not been disclosed, but you could probably guess that it's predominantly Dominican tobacco and it has the telltale signs of the African Cameroon wrapper leaf, which is produced by the Mirafel family. Now, the African Cameroon wrapper leaf it is quite an expensive wrapper leaf and it's generally used by Fuente in his more premium line of cigars. So this isn't like a standard production. This is a more premium cigar from the from the Fuente company. And, um, you know, the uh, the wrapper leaf, the African Cameron wrapper leaf, as much as I enjoy it and as much as I really like the uh, flavor, the sweetness that you get from it, it's not the prettiest looking wrapper leaf that I've ever seen on a cigar. But then again, you know, sometimes it's not about the looks, it's about the performance. And uh, that's what we're going to find out. We're going to see what this cigar is all about. So I'm going to cut it, light it, and uh, let's see if this cigar is any good. first few draws on this cigar and um, the draw on this cigar is a little bit loose like it's not it's not unbearable it's manageable it's not like uncomfortable but it's just a little bit looser than I would have preferred um, it doesn't feel like it's underfilled by any by any means but it just you know the draw is just a little bit more open than I would have preferred and I haven't cut off a great deal I've literally just sliced off millimeters from the cap of the cigar in terms of flavor notes the sweetness hits you straight away. Like straight away, you take a puff and that sweetness from the wrapper leaf just comes through straight away, both on your lips and on the flavor. And I really like that. But the rest of the flavor notes, you know, a little bit of hay, kind of grassy flavors. Uh, not that not that interesting. It's that sweetness from the wrapper leaf, which is kind of carrying things through at the moment. Uh, but, you know, this cigar could develop. On the retrohale, there's a little bit of pepperiness, a little bit of spiciness, but it's quite, quite dim at this stage. There isn't a great deal of flavors that are bursting through. But whenever I smoked Fuente cigars, generally speaking, anyway, the first few, the first inch of the cigar is kind of like a hello. You know, it's just a handshake. It just kind of eases you in. So this is not a judgment on the cigar by any means, because, you know, cigars can develop. But beginning stages, yeah, this cigar, you know, it's okay. It's nice. Um, draw could be better. But other than that, it's not a bad start. coming to the halfway point of this cigar and flavor notes of this cigar are really coming through now like there's this beautiful fruity note it's like a sharp uh, almost like a slight spicy like a spice fruit that's what I'm getting that hay flavor that I was getting that that grassy note that's gone completely and at this stage it's tasting really really good it's very much like the eye of the shark so if you smoke the eye of the shark it feels like it's basically the same blend i could be wrong but I, I think this is the same blend as the eye of the shark but this just feels more saturated like the flavor notes just hit a lot harder a lot firmer the draw has uh, tightened up quite a bit as well there's there's no tar build up the burn the burn is fine, but the ash is like super, super flaky. I don't know if that's coming through or not, but the ash is like super, super flaky. And it's not a pretty looking ash, but you know, it's what it is. Like this cigar is not a pretty looking cigar. The wrapper leaf isn't that pretty. The uh, the ash isn't great to look at. You know, it's like a, uh, like a dark gray color, but it's also really flaky and it's falling apart and whatever. However, the flavor notes, flavor notes of this cigar, it is gorgeous. Beginning, the beginning part of the cigar, you know, it was very subtle. But like I said, this cigar builds up. Or I was, I thought that it was going to build up, and it did. And it does not disappoint. At this stage, yeah, the flavor notes, properly enjoying this cigar. Very citrusy, really citrusy. And I'm enjoying the hell out of it. Coming to the final section of this cigar, and this is a relatively complex cigar. There's uh, quite a few significant transitions in this smoke. 
and I've really, really enjoyed it. Beginning part wasn't the best, but the build-up has been incredible. After the halfway point, the transition has been fantastic. You know, there's this creamy note that comes, it's like a fruity, creamy note. That citrus flavor kind of subsided and then like it was more like a heavy berry fruity flavor with a slight creamy note and the sweetness from the wrapper started coming back so after like the first third the sweetness in the wrapper you know that kind of faded but then now that sweetness has come back with full force and that at this stage like you know the final third i'm getting a good dose of coffee there's no bitterness really smooth wonderful flavors this cigar has really really impressed me like I said, it's not the prettiest looking cigar, you know, it's the ash is ugly, the wrapper leaf's ugly, but the performance, like the actual flavors, this is beautiful. This is really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The burn has been pretty much perfect. The draw has become really, really good. Good firm draw, you know, good amount of resistance with every single puff, lots of smoke coming out. I'm, I'm impressed with this cigar. At the beginning, this cigar was burning really, really quickly, but this has taken me like an hour and a half just to get to this stage. So I'm assuming it's going to take another 20 minutes, another half an hour just for me to finish this part. So this is, you know, a robusto sized cigar is lasting me like potentially almost two hours. So I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this cigar. I, yeah, I got to give this, one, give this one a proper recommendation. This is fantastic. I mean, as someone who predominantly smokes Cuban cigars, this has been a lovely change. This is, uh, yeah, the Don Carlos 80th Personal Reserve. Definitely box worthy cigar. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. But anyway, that's the uh, review for this cigar. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and uh, hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you.